Welcome to Yosemite National Park. It's an American national park in Northern California. The park is managed by the National Park Service and covers an area of about 750,000 acres. Designated a World Heritage Site in 1984, Yosemite is internationally recognized for its granite cliffs, waterfalls, clear streams, giant sequoia groves, lakes, mountains, meadows, glaciers, and biological diversity. Almost 95% of the park is designated wilderness. The best times to visit Yosemite are May and September, when the park is accessible but not too crowded. It's important to know that many roads and trails in Yosemite are closed for the majority of the year due to snow. Reservations are required to drive into Yosemite National Park beginning May 21st. If you have another reservation in the park, you might not need a day-use reservation and can pay the entrance fee at the park entrance station. Yosemite is one of the largest and least fragmented habitat blocks in the Sierra Nevada and the park supports a diversity of plants and animals. The park has an elevation range from 2,000 to 13,000 feet and contains five major vegetation zones. Yosemite was central to the development of the national park idea. Yosemite now draws about 4 million visitors each year and most visitors spend the majority of their time in the seven square miles of Yosemite Valley. The park set a visitation record in 2016, surpassing 5 million visitors for the first time in its history. We recommend you to enter the park using the Arch Rock entrance, which is the closest to Yosemite Valley, making it a popular area to stay in. The nearest towns are El Portal and Mariposa. Within Yosemite National Park, you might not sleep in your car or RV, except in a campsite that you are registered to stay in, except at Camp 4, where sleeping in cars is not allowed because it's a walk-in campground. Numerous activities are available through the National Park Service, Yosemite Conservancy, and our mark at Yosemite, including nature walks, photography, art classes, stargazing programs, tours, bike rentals, rafting, mule and horseback rides, and rock climbing classes. Many people enjoy short walks and longer hikes to waterfalls in Yosemite Valley or walks among giant sequoias in the Mariposa Groves. Others like to drive or take a tour bus to Glacier Point to see views of Yosemite Valley and the high country. Most park visitors stay just for the day 
and visit only those locations within Yosemite Valley that are easily accessible by car. Traffic congestion in the valley is a serious problem during the peak season in summer. A free shuttle bus system operates year-round in the valley and park rangers encourage people to use this system since parking within the valley during the summer is often nearly impossible to find. This is our top 5 things to do in Yosemite National Park. Number 5. Visit Mariposa Grove. Giant seems to be an understatement for this expansive grove of sequoia trees in the southernmost section of Yosemite. Mariposa is one of the three groves in the park where visitors can spot sequoia trees. Number 4. Visit Glacier Point. Glacier Point is considered one of the best and most comprehensive lookouts in Yosemite. Visitors often describe Glacier Point's sweeping panoramic vistas as breathtaking, calling it a truly cannot miss spot in the park. Before we continue, don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you won't miss any of our videos. Number 3. Visit Half Dome. Hiking Yosemite's Half Dome Cables route has been described as unforgettable and even life-changing by travelers. But this expedition is for adventure seekers only. The trail is about 14 to 16 miles long and features elevation gains of about 5,000 feet. Number 2. Visit Tunnel View Outlook. Along with Glacier Point, Tunnel View is widely known to be the most popular outlook in all Yosemite. Here, travelers get an eyeful of the majestic Yosemite Valley, complete with views of famous park sites such as Half Dome. And finally, our number one thing to do in Yosemite National Park. Visit Yosemite Valley. Unless you are only planning backcountry expeditions during your trip to Yosemite, chances are you will end up in Yosemite Valley at one point or another. That's because Yosemite Valley features much of the park's top attractions. We have arrived to the end of our video. Perhaps you would like to share some additional information on this topic. Stay curious and we'll see you in the next one.